again, Elizabeth Putnam and Sean Wirtz have already skated in the number to beat, 153-39. So here we go, final flight. The pair is free skate. You can't see it, but Jessica Dubé has a wrist brace on her hand to support her wrist, the result of a car accident just before Christmas. She's fine now, but she just relies a little bit on that extra support. She sprained it in that accident. She also hurt herself last night just before the women's free skate. She competed as a single skater. Dubé and Davidson are first. And third after the short program. Watch their posture. Beautifully erect back. Opening with the double twist. Very strong and powerful double axle sequence into a second double axle. Big mark. As a result of their individual skating, this is the team with the highest international results this year after Marku and Bunsen. so lightly with such ease throw triple cow cow of the sound. jumps and throws. They've really developed their lifting skill as well this year. Good ice coverage. Maintaining speed despite many rotations. This is such a dynamic team. A lot of people identified this team as potential Olympians for 2010 in Vancouver. They've got that look. It's clean, it's clear, it's aristocratic. But I think some of those people were wrong. They could be going to Torino. Four years early, perhaps.
final pair spin. Four and a half minute program for senior pairs. Wow. Yes, they could be going to Torino. And if they skate like that, They could not only light up a national audience, but an international audience. The Governor General liked it. She's here. What a night. Started by Dubé and Davison on CTV. He said the Liberal Party... It's kind of been the hard luck kids with injury problems. They've been able to put the injuries behind them and skate <laughs> with such purity. So often it takes a junior team, any junior skater, a couple of years to get the feel for what a senior looks like. And Jessica had a real crisis of faith in skating this past summer. And I think what happened, she didn't know whether she wanted to continue. She had all the jump, all the power, but none of the heart. Suddenly she found it somewhere, decided to come back. And with that coming back, the team has gone from a very good second year senior team maybe to Olympic yeah, you bet. And Jessica, of course, skated in the women's program last night, finished in eighth place. Bryce will skate in the men's event later tonight. He's currently in 14th position. This is an outstanding young team. She's 18, he's 19, he's from Ancaster, moved to Cambridge to train. They now train in the Drummondville area, where Jessica is from. <laughs> Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison, and where they started to raise some eyebrows is on the international junior circuit a couple of years ago they were major contenders yeah they were in fact were winning everything they went in and came uh, second in world junior competition all of that international exposure tends to help a skater look beyond just the national horizon and into what has to be done in order to become known on the international scene it's all the buzz I mean you have to produce when you're out there skating but certainly, judges are talking about them everywhere. Another young team, well, Annabelle Langlois has been around. She has skated internationally, but a new partner last year. She was with Patrice Arteto and a team that had world-class experience. And she skates with newcomer Cody Hay. There's Jean-Sebastian Fecteau. He had international experience. And now with partner with Taku Wakamatsu, who again is not a citizen of Canada, so they can throw things for a loop. If they should win or finish on the podium, they do not go to the Olympics. Watch these numbers, watch these marks, follow along at home. 153-39, they will easily move into first place. The score after the short and free Debbie Wilkes, 167-80. That's going to be the mark for the rest of the team to follow. This is the most wonderful time.